What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Bandit Barney bringing you everything you need to know about Red Dead Online. And thanks to you guys in the comments uh, coming through yesterday and letting us know about an idea that makes it so much more effective to go hunting, which is start a stranger mission and then run the clock on that mission. Generally, most stranger missions, you only need like a quarter of the time to truly finish them. So spend the next three quarters of the time, go hunting, get extra things that are worth more money. And then when you finish the mission, not only do you earn the most money for that mission by using up all the time, you also gain experience for the mission. And on top of that, you've collected a bunch of pelts and different animals to you to sell in making that time spent most effective. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over two of these locations. They're not brand new, but I just want to bring them to your attention so that you can maximize the stranger missions that you're doing. I think the best place to do those stranger missions is down in Rhodes because there's these two that I've done already. They, they're such great stranger missions and you can get hunting missions from both of them, which is the optimal mission to get. But if you want to know more about that, yesterday's video is going to tell you more. I'm going to show you two locations that you can quickly utilize to get the most out of the hunting when you do finish the first portion of the stranger mission. And the first one is going to be right over here at Ringneck, I think Creek. Yeah, Ringneck Creek. And where it is right here on the map, you see this little, looks like uh, the creek gets blocked up. That's this spot right here, right there by that big rock in front of me. So all we need to do is just go grab a turkey, which spawn right up here on the hill. You gotta listen for these bad boys because they like doing a little, they like making all that noise. It might be too early for turkeys though. Turkeys are lazy birds. Okay, we're back at the river. It's really not hard to find the turkeys. Just, they, they normally spawn, spawn right up here, northeast of the river here. It's super, super easy. Get your turkey. Get them off the horse, and then you're just gonna toss them in the river. The nice part about this carcass method is my least favorite part normally is getting the proper placement for the carcass. In this specific location, you just throw them in the river, and you're gonna get them in that spot really easy because the flow of the river takes them in. You just wanna jam up right of, off to the right of this rock. Oh, I thought I was gonna be able to kick them. Looks like I wasn't able to. But you can generally just throw this boy, this guy down. There, and that's actually the spot that we want him in. I'm going to try and give him one little nudge this way. Got him. Okay. All you do then is just pull out your fishing pole and pull out your river lure. Now, I like to use the special river lure. I don't think there's any difference in, in those two lures. It is good to note that you can, at times, get different types of fish by pulling out different lures. But in this specific location, that doesn't apply. You can only get the river lure fish here. And if it says you can't cast, just move, move around a little bit. And then chill. Let the fish spawn in. Okay, we got some fish spawning in now. And you can see that they kind of just, they just swim up creek and die on the riverbed for some reason. I don't know why. This is not tradi uh, traditional behavior from fish in a river. Generally, they stay in the water. But these guys probably aren't supposed to be here. And we're getting them by pulling out the fishing pole. Normally, you don't see any fish just around here unless you have your pole out. So we kind of got them tricked. And then the ones that do make it down are that guy's already dead, huh? He's already dead. Now, when you see three or so build up on the riverbed there, just go over and collect. And then especially there's this near side of the riverbed that you can't really see very well from this angle. You'll get fish there too. I'd say it takes you probably about five minutes in this location, two runs of picking them up to get 10. And that's the max you can get is $20 worth. You get smallmouth bass. You're not going to get anything else. And the smallmouth bass, 10 each. You get six per run, 20 bucks. So it looks like I maxed out this. I'm gonna put the pole away and pick them up. Quick five minutes, 20 bucks. Now this river works particularly well if we pull out the map. Sometimes you'll get three different kinds of missions here. You'll get deliveries, uh, hunting missions, and rescue missions from Alden and Trulani. Those are the main ones you'll get from those guys. It'll either take you up towards Emerald Ranch, <clears throat> down around in this uh, Braithwaite Manor area, Boulder, Boulder Glade, Glade, and or you'll go over like around in this area. So this fishing spot is going to work really well if this side mission or stranger mission takes you north. That's what this one is going to benefit you the most for. The other one we're going to go over is going to be on the southern side, which is just a more all around better um, 
hunting area you're gonna earn more money ultimately there um but this one is super convenient because it's very simple and you always you're just like you don't do anything bro you just sit here and throw the pole in F like if fishing was this easy in real life this would be the primary source of food for the entire population of the world it's just too easy so we got 10 of those let's make sure 10 that's gonna come out to 20 bucks let's pick our turkey up all soggy and gross but she's still a three star and stick her on my nasty horse that's carrying around dirty pelts all day and then we're gonna make our way south we're gonna go down into this area now there's a panther that'll spawn in this area over here but panthers generally spawn more in the evening so we might need to wait till evening to do that but we can get these birds that come along this area so i'm gonna head down here and if i see your deer along the way i cap it i put it i skin it i grab it you know we, this is this is all about hunting you know getting that those useful things using your 15 minutes from that side mission as best as possible that's why we're coming over here there's some deer over in this area that we can hunt if we're heading north but if we have that 20 minute hunting mission that we get from trelawney what we want to do is we just want to spend that 20 minutes hunting down in the south try and get that cougar come up here to the fish if we feel like it's dry around that area otherwise we're just trying to maximize this the nice part up here is all the deer like we got a buck right here make your noise of death what one star you piece of shit. the missions from trulani and alden are either going to send you up north area emerald ranch or they're going to send you down south here if you get a hunting mission you have 20 minutes you can probably hit the fishing spot and the spot we're about to go over but if you come down here there's a possible panther spot you can get the florida panther to spawn in as well as some birds to shoot now don't just focus on the panther or the birds just go through and hunt a bunch of stuff you're just maximizing your time here so get a few squirrels deer are worth a lot perfect deer pelt are super super valuable what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move over here west we're right down here at the bottom you're gonna come over here and then move west across the way and then we're gonna wrap up along here you can see there's a pelican spawn here we're just gonna wrap up along that route if we're lucky we'll get a panther in here you don't always get them though they're they're one of the more rare animals to spawn in so if you don't get one don't feel too bad about it and you just want to get like let's say we got a deer here now hunting in these trees is hard when it's not when you're hunting the deer and not the panther the panther runs at you the deers run away from you they can be a little bit difficult uh that's so if you're gonna hunt deer basically the point is if you're gonna hunt deer this isn't the best place to get them even though there's a ton of them because they're kind of hard to shoot at least for me maybe you'll have a little bit better luck i'm not the best shot so it becomes a little bit more difficult for me to get them in this area okay we got our deer we're gonna load this up on the horse and just keep combing through now panthers the thing about them is that i've read up that and people have commented they'll spawn more often if it's nighttime during the day they don't spawn as often i've read this about cougars and panthers more about cougars um i think the same thing's true with the panthers so if you don't get the panther don't worry about it they're valuable if you can get but they're also you could waste a lot of time just trying to get a panther and end up getting empty so you just hunt this other stuff that's going to be super easy for you and then when you get the birds the birds are really valuable too because you can get three plumes off each of them if you run the route you can probably get two to three birds each time no problem that i'd say that's the general spawn rate of them and when you combine that with running the side mission at the same time you're just gonna earn so much more and it really maximizes the hunting with this being such a good route if you get the panther it's basically a jackpot route all right now what you want to do is head back probably you're going to finish your objective at this point if you're running a side mission uh if you have if, if you want to try and go back and see if you can get the panther that might be worth a shot but i honestly i just think at this point getting the um deer now if you can find a perfect deer carcass on your way back that's optimal the perfect deer carcass is worth seven bucks doesn't compare to the panther which is at 14 dollars. but i mean nothing really compares to the panther and the panther doesn't always spawn so if you don't if you don't get on the panther then make sure you get in on the deer carcass there's a spawn right up here outside what do we got here raven i just shoot it just for the fun of it turkeys nope 
So you can sometimes get a, a group of deer over here that's on the west side of roads. Looks like I'm not gonna get one. No problem. I'll wrap, I'll wrap down on the north side of roads and then go into the butcher. No deer. Sometimes there's deer there, but more often than not, there isn't. All right, so we're going to go to the butcher, and we're going to get an easy 20 from the river with the smallmouth bass. If we are able to get a panther in that spot, we're going to pull in 14 plus 7 for the pelt. Other than that, you're going to get all these bird plumes. So it looks like we got pelican feathers. Those are $1.20. That's pretty good. This is from the turkey, the gamey bird meat. Lucky this is popular. Uh, the plumes from the heron is worth... Three dollars total, two is one fifty each. I don't know why I made that so confusing. You got your squirrel. Here's the smallmouth bass. That's gonna net you twenty. Flight feathers. I don't need to sell those. The exotic bird meat. That those are from the pelicans, I think. Wait, are they? I'm not sure what they're from. Oh no, the plump bird meat is what you're gonna get from the turkeys. Coyote there. Turkey feathers worth basically nothing, but if you're gonna do the fishing method, you might as well. Take the feathers from it. We got our deer venison here. Deal. Cormorant. Cormorant feathers, $1.20 each. Just like the hair on. And then you're going to get good deer pelt. I, I didn't go for a perfect deer carcass. Fox, nice. Then we got our pelican and our hair on. So, guys, when you're doing... Ooh, and that's going to be worth a lot there, too. When you're doing the side mission method and you're going around hunting... Inroads is a great place to do that. And when you're in roads, make sure you go north to the Ringneck River. That's a great place to jump in there and get your $20 worth of fish. It's right north of roads, so close. And then if you have the chance to travel south down around here, get the birds along this edge and pick up the panther. That's going to maximize what you can do with those side missions. Appreciate your guys' time. Thank you for the recent support on the channel growing daily and we got daily content for you if you're not subbed already make sure to subscribe thank you and i hope to see you in a future video take care